All right, kitchen's all wiped down. You finished rolling your silverware? Great, let's get out of here. After the day we've had, I can't wait to scrub all this griddle grease off of me. Finally, we agree on something. Here, let me get the door for you. There we go. Just gonna lock the door and... There. Hey, great work today. Give me five. And you're walking away. <sighs> Cold shoulder as always. Guess we'll try again tomorrow. Tomorrow? Come on, Cardlin. You said that you were going to get to the bottom of this whole weird tension thing today. Don't chicken out now. Go after her before she leaves. Hey, uh, wait up. Holy cow, she's fast. Hold on a second. I need to talk to you. <sighs> you sure are fast. Didn't you hear me yelling for you? Ah, if you say so. So, um, uh, what a day, am I right? I swear, I've never seen the cafe that busy on a Monday. I thought we were going to drown after that bus full of tourists showed up. But you handled everything like a champ. You know, you're probably the best server I've ever... Um, no, that's not why I stopped you. There's something else I need to say. Technically, yeah, it could wait till tomorrow. But I'd rather get this over with now, if that's cool with you. I only need, uh, ten minutes, tops. Please? I'll owe you. Um... Uh, I don't know. What do you want? Food? Well, lucky for you, I am a chef. So I suppose I can make that happen sometime. Wow, you've got some fancy taste, don't you? Sure, I'll cook you a steak. And I'll throw in a lobster tail, too, if you hear me out. It's a deal. Shake on it? Come on, I don't have cooties, I promise. There we go. Uh, so, the thing I want to say... Mm, okay, okay. You were right, and I was wrong. What? My dad said that to my mom all the time, and it always worked. And you're glaring at me. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go. I... I'm sorry, all right? That's all I'm trying to say. Whatever I did to offend you, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I must have. You refuse to look at me anymore, even when I'm talking directly to you. And when you do talk to me, you always throw in these sarcastic little remarks. I can't tell if you're teasing me or if you legitimately can't stand me. Well, I don't know what psychoanalyze means. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not doing that to you. I just want us to get along. We're always working the same shift, and despite our differences, we make a great team. Wouldn't it be so awesome if we could be friends? Oh, there you go again. Why do you do that? Those quips you say all the time are downright mean. That's not true. I've seen you be nice before. Oh, really? 
Wasn't it you who went out and got me a cake when everyone else forgot my birthday? <laughs> okay, yes, you made the bakers write happy birthday Dorklin on it, but it was still a nice gesture. Who goes out of their way to get a cake for someone they supposedly can't stand? Well, fine. What about the incident from Saturday night? Don't play coy. You know what I'm talking about. The Karen with the leopard print leggings? The one that marched back into the kitchen to yell at me for her chicken being overcooked? You ran in and saved my ass. I'll never forget the way you swept into the kitchen like some kind of superhero. All you were missing was the cape and dramatic theme music. <laughs> oh, that's exactly how it happened. You stood between us and said, Lady, if you don't step away from my chef, the only food you'll be getting is through a tube. Oh, personally, I thought the threat was a little overkill, but it was kind of sweet, too. Well, it wasn't nothing to me. I've never had anyone stand up for me like that before. <laughs> yeah, well, being a big guy doesn't mean that I'm invincible. When she started screaming and pointing her finger in my face, I froze up. But you weren't the least bit afraid of her, were you? <laughs> Don't be modest. You were incredible, and sent her running with her tail between her legs. After watching you put her in her place, I realized that, well, that I was wrong about you. You're not a mean person after all. But you're not. You put on this tough girl act to make people take you seriously, but you're actually kind of soft underneath. You're like a little hedgehog or something. Wait, don't go. Okay, maybe a hedgehog was the wrong metaphor, but I can come up with a different one. Hey, come back. Please don't leave. At least tell me one thing. Why did you call me your chef? Oh, well, you did though. You can't take that back. Okay, fine. Even if it was said in the heat of the moment, as you claim, you still defended me. And anyone who's willing to put their job on the line for me can't possibly be my enemy. You don't mean that. Because if you did, you'd be saying it to my face, not at the ground. Is it really too late for us to start over? I'd really like us to. I wouldn't be standing out here in the parking lot trying to make things right if I didn't think it was a possibility. But it'd be good to clear the air first, right? Please, I'm losing my mind here. Just tell me what I did so I can make this whole thing right. Nothing? I've got this all wrong, haven't I? Maybe it's not something I've done to you. It's that you don't like me as a person. Oh. I've never had someone genuinely dislike me before. No, don't worry about it. Some people don't click, and you can't force them to. I, I guess, deep down, I'd hoped... Well, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. You don't have to try to make me feel better. It's not your fault that I misread things. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna head out. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. 
I'll be sure to stay out of your way from now on. Whoa. Um, that's my hand. And now you're staring into my eyes. Something on your mind? Oh, really? You're gonna prove to me that you don't hate me? All right, and how are you gonna do that? Mm. Mm. Wow. You just... You, you just kissed me. Why... why did you... You don't hate me. Okay, so... Oh. Oh. So you... Wow. Okay, that's... That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Whew. My head is spinning. Well, confusion, mostly, but also relief, too. I don't know, emotional whiplash isn't something I'm used to. Wow, an apology, too? What's next? Are aliens gonna show up here in the parking lot? I'm just kidding, jeez. <laughs> so... To confirm, you're basically saying that you like me, right? <laughs> I mean, it'd feel more real if you'd actually say it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. You'll apologize to me and kiss me, but you won't admit that you have a crush on me? <laughs> That's so you. Well, fair enough. Me? To be honest, my brain is fried. This is a lot to take in all at once. But at the same time, it's the best outcome I could have hoped for. Yeah, really. All this time I felt guilty that I had hurt you or something. I'm glad to hear that's not the case. And for the record, I definitely don't hate you either. Huh. Mm. So, about that dinner I owe you. No, no, we made a deal. And I'm a man of my word. How about tomorrow night after work, you come over to my place. I'll make you dinner and we'll talk about whatever's next. What do you say? Well, I wasn't thinking of it being a date, but if that's what my little hedgehog wants to call it, then sure, it's a date. Oh, so you can call me your chef, but I can't call you my hedgehog? Whoa. Hey, what are you doing? You're leaving now? Hey, wait! <laughs> See you tomorrow, my little hedgehog. <laughs>